Hello chaps and chapesses, and this week we're going to talk about the Fishbond Boulder Briefcase. So the Fishpond Boulder briefcase came out a very long time ago. It is actually quite an old product which has continually been revamped over the years. And I remember when they first came out in 2007, I think, everybody wanted one. Everybody in the fishing industry wanted one. It's like, there is a briefcase which is kind of smart and swanky, but at the same time was still very much a fishing item. It was one of those pieces of kit that we all desperately wanted. And I think one of the reasons that we all wanted one is because it made us feel like even though we were having to go to work, we could still pretend that we were going fishing. Even in its first iteration, it was extremely well thought out. Pockets for everything that you might need, whether it is going to be for the office or even heading out on a fishing trip. It really is a perfect briefcase for the traveling fisherman. It has absolutely everything that you could possibly want, along with Excellent features such as backpack straps that come out, uh, which means you can carry it around airports, but I'll go into the features in more detail in a minute. As I said, I've always craved a Boulder briefcase. I don't really know why um, I have another briefcase, but actually, sadly, I desperately wanted this one. And this is the new Fishpond FP line Boulder briefcase iteration. So this has a wax cotton exterior, which means it's incredibly tough and is actually also quite waterproof for showers and various other things like that. So if you are moving around, if you're going from boats, it will double up to take those important bits and pieces that you like to carry around on your person, but at the same time, it's going to keep them pretty weatherproof. So what do I use it for? I use it for when I'm traveling. You know what it's like when you're traveling and you're trying to take all of your uh, personal breakable electronic specialist items with you as carry-on? This is what I put them in. For me especially, it's items of camera equipment that I really don't want to find in the hold, which could get damaged. Uh, special lenses, bits of uh, audio equipment and other bits and pieces like that. Specialist reels and just those bits of kit that I really don't want to be in harm's way and I want them with me. So when I'm traveling, I use it to carry those things. I have power banks, I carry iPad, I don't carry a laptop anymore. I carry my headphones, I carry a 50 millimeter F1.2 lens in here. Um, it has plenty of space that I can put battery packs in here. Um, I also carry drone batteries in here because I'm not allowed to put those in the hold. And the other sneaky thing that I use this briefcase for is if you are traveling and hand luggage, you are allowed to take a one piece of hand luggage and a laptop case. Now this is a laptop case in inverted commas. So it means I can take my camera case, which has got all my cameras in a hard case, and then I can take this for the other bits and pieces I wanna take along with my ticket wallets and money and all the other things that I'm normally traveling with, which you want to be accessible. So let me guide you through some of the features of this really excellent briefcase. As I said, it's part of the FP line, it's wax cotton, it's very tough, it's very durable. It has a total of 10 exterior and interior pockets. So the exterior pockets are ideal for carrying pens, battery packs, um, iPads if you want to keep them on the outside. All those kind of little accoutrements that you need when you're traveling, you can carry on the outside. It's got a button handle, um, and then on the inside, you've got a big laptop compartment, which will easily take a 15 inch laptop. Um, you have got, which is padded. It's then got separate dividers, so that you can put other little bits and pieces in here and separate it all out and make sure that it is um, organized. I like to have my bags organized. 
and then it's got a big central compartment which is actually big enough if you need to to put in some extra flat clothing um, you could probably even squeeze in a pair of boots in here um, and carry those things which are essential if your main bag might go missing I always carry a separate pair of sunglasses for example so that if my main bag goes missing I've still got some Polaroids and I can still fish. So that kind of thing is all pretty normal, pretty simple and what you have in a standard briefcase. Now where this bag excels is you've got a waterproof zipper on the top so you've got a compartment on the front which you can then put in your documents so you don't want them to get wet. And then it's basically in how the bag is handled. Firstly there's a one of the fish pond rope straps on the front which means that you can carry it this way if you want to which is um, quite a nice feature but what makes this bag absolutely different to all of the others is you can unzip this bit here and you can pull out backpack straps which then clip with metal aluminium buckles straight onto the bottom of it so when you're roaming around an airport you can throw this on your back and get it out of the way and that is absolutely invaluable when you're hoofing around a load of kit on a trip but then the rest of the time you can stash them away in this hidden zippered compartment and they don't get in the way and they don't look a bit odd if you're wandering around into a meeting Fishpond also obviously think about these things for the travelling angler and here on the top is a pass through zip system so you can zip the top and the bottom and then you can put it on top of your rolling duffel bag and have the handle slide down there so you can just make sure that your valuables are not going to fall off the top of your cart. It makes a very compact travelling system and actually these days that counts for an awful lot. Obviously if you just want to carry it with an ordinary buckle shoulder strap it's got a very comfortable padded strap that can go across your shoulders and take all the load and that's how you probably carry it most of the time just thrown across your shoulders but then you can flip to the traditional kind of briefcase mode and then if you want to wander into a meeting you don't look like you've just come off the river unless that is what you're trying to achieve so the price tag on the fish pond boulder briefcase is 189.95 us dollars or £219.99. Now I know that seems an awful lot for a briefcase, but I will probably have this for the rest of my life. And some of my friends and colleagues have had these Boulder briefcases going back to when they first arrived in about 2007 and they're still using them. And this one looks even tougher. So I know that this is gonna last me for a very, very long time. So I really feel it's worth the investment. I'm gonna put in a quick disclaimer here. Um, I bought this with my own money at full retail price because I really, really wanted it. There weren't many coming into the country at the time. I've wanted one for a very long time and that's how much faith I actually have in this product. It's absolutely indestructible and that is what I need when I'm traveling. So even when you are going to a meeting, it makes you feel like you're going fishing. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will look forward to seeing you on the next one.